Hi, I'm Kat Eggers. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'd like to share with you some tools for Cobra Pose and kind of break down the pose, give you some tools for when you're in other yoga classes and the instructor cues Cobra um, so that you can find a Cobra Pose that feels really good in your body and that is also safe for your lower back. The way I want to approach this is through an inquiry. The first Yoga Sutra uh, of Patanjali's Yoga Sutras is now the inquiry of yoga. Atta Yoga Anushasanam. In this exercise, we'll do an inquiry into our bodies and we'll use interoception to feel what is right for our bodies. What is Bhujangasana for you? What is it for me? Or what is it for uh, the person you saw doing it on Instagram? Um, it's what is Cobra Pose for you? And only your body can tell you that. So we'll just do an inquiry, kind of doing the pose in different ways and using interoception to compare the experience in our bodies of the pose. And Hopefully that inquiry will guide you uh, into finding a perfect bhujangasana for you. So make your way onto your belly. So often when we come down onto the floor, our hands end up right underneath our armpits, or we may even be cued to bring our hands by our armpits. So go ahead and bring them there and then Hug the elbows into the body, draw the shoulder blades down the back, root the pubic bone down into the floor. When you're ready, lift chin and chest up off the floor and then press the earth away from you with your hands. Notice the sensation in the lower back and also notice what muscles you're using. You may even like to close your eyes to get a better feel for what the body is experiencing. Slowly lower down to the floor and then press back to child's pose. Let the low back release. When you're ready, come back down onto your belly. This time we're going to draw our hands back so that the forearms come to 90 degrees with the floor. Hug the elbows in, draw the shoulder blades back, root the pubic bone down into the floor, lift chin and chest, and then press the earth away from you with your hands to lift the entire torso up off the floor. Keep the pubic bone connected to the earth, keep hugging the elbows into the body, Draw the shoulder blades down the back, long neck, and notice where you feel this pose engaging your body. What does the low back feel like? What muscles are working? And when you're ready, slowly lower back down onto your belly and press back to child's pose. So by drawing our hands back toward the toes, bringing the arms at 90 degrees with the floor, creates length for the low back when we press up into Cobra. And can relieve excess pressure there. It can feel a lot more comfortable for a lot of us. So you can use the forearms as kind of a volume knob I've had students where this trick doesn't really work for them, but it might work for you. Now we'll try upward facing dog to compare how our low back feels compared to the other two versions of Cobra that we just tried. Whenever you're ready, Press all the way back to Downward Facing Dog. Take a breath in. 
and exhale down to child's pose. So I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of Cobra Pose and that you feel a little more confident about what you're doing um, in any class that you might find yourself in. I hope this empowers you to make choices that are right for your body. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.